So, USB grounding, let's check it out. So I'm getting into the keyed game and I wanted to uh, also check out the artisan cables and I kind of went down a rabbit hole and found a lot of different websites. And I really like this Coaxius uh, branded website because they went into uh, the pinout details, which hardly anyone else does. So that's awesome. And then also they went into a lot of documentation about grounding and the, and the technical uh, uh, standard for USB grounding. And it had me uh, going into, uh, it piqued my curiosity uh, about my own cables that I already own and which ones are grounded, if it's uh, a standard or if it's something that a lot of brands are, are saving a couple cents on by skipping. I uh, dived into my own uh, little pile. And here's a pretty decent cable from uh, Amazon. You know, it's got the look of being, you know, really nice, um, braided and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I've set my multimeter to a diode mode. So instead of having to look at resistance out of the meter, um, it just gives you a nice beep or not. There's continuity. So putting the, uh, the hot on the external metal of the male, male uh, end, uh, I'll, I'll just probe the, the metal outline of the female side and you'll see there's no continuity. So even if this is shielded, um, they're not grounding it. Um, so rather they're leaving the shielding sheath in play, which does offer some magnetic shielding. But again, there, there's different use cases. And for me, I'm kind of getting a, like an OCD itch that I want it to be uh, I want a path to ground. So then you'll see I have a the cable matters be a type A to type B, so typical for printers. But you know, pretty pretty well known good brands. You can pay a little bit more for when you get a cables matters. And, um, so I expected this to be grounded, especially uh, the blue denoting uh, USB three uh, standards. And lo and behold, it is. So that had me going. So then I have this angled cable from Amazon. It comes with a right and a left um, for like eight something dollars. And again, they brag, they literally, and I'll put this up in the video, post how it is shielded. But you'll read reviews um, that like these don't work for people that are using external hard drives and whatnot. So something that seems to have like a, a high IO throughput these tend to have uh, issues. So they're fine for like keyboards and other peripherals, but high throughput, they start to have issues. So I put the positive, you know, just like the other test, and uh, nothing, no grounding. So for the sake of science, I spent some money and went to uh, angledcables.com. And so instead of like $8 for two of these on Amazon, or if you go to eBay, it's like two something dollars with a little bit of shipping to buy buy these. So you can buy like a, a whole bunch. And the whole reason I went down this rabbit hole is I bought a new uh, USB hub that had like multiple ports. And I was starting to get interested in, in the quality of these angled uh, connectors or adapters because I needed a bunch of angles. So then I ordered this much more expensive, you know, relatively speaking angled connector and already a good sign. One of the reasons I ordered it was you can see on eBay and Amazon, they had like this look on, on the female side and then this other website, it's obviously a different manufacturer for otherwise something that looks really similar. And you're going to assume that they come from the same factory, but so I was, I had high hopes. We're going to put the, the lead on here that paying the extra money and that it's a different brand, well, it would be uh, grounded. And as you can hear, it is uh, grounded. So I will put a link to these, uh, obviously not sponsored or anything like that, you know, a little tiny channel. But um, that was really neat. Um, you know, some people will not care, but it, I, I assume if you clicked on the video, uh, you got something from that as far as a, a good example you get what you pay for and if you really do have a like a high throughput high IO a sensitive equipment need uh, this is actually what I would call properly grounded 
And of course, if you have this connected to a hub and then that's connected to another extension that goes to a KVM or your computer or whatnot, you, you can't have that chain broken. So you need to ensure that all the components, all, all the USB cabling is properly grounded um, for, for that chain. And just throwing it in there, here's the Apple keyboard extension cable. And, you know, Apple, yeah, you know, I'm not, a, like, I don't have an iPhone or anything like that. I, I know there's, you know, the people in their camps um, in their tribes that think one way or another, but being like technology agnostic, I can acknowledge that they, uh, they do make a really good product. Now, is it overpriced? You know, uh, some will say yes, some will say no, but point being is they are known for putting something out that's, that's pretty good. So I, I went to probing it and there you go. So even if Apple bothers, you know, grounding, I think that's interesting. And this is for a keyboard that has a USB hub. So I think that's an interesting detail. They ensure that that's grounded. And then also, this is a, a, a set brand, and I think that's a pretty good brand, a USB hub that also allows a, a power input, which is really crucial, because I was running this on a KVM where without power, it was just not having it. And, uh, and then you've got like eBay and Amazon, like brand X, you know, hubs. And I went and bought a brand X1 because I like the aesthetic and it gave me seven ports instead of these four. The whole reason of upgrading was I ran out of ports on this. But still out of curiosity, I was like, well, it's got the USB 3 blue um, branding on it, basically. Let's see if this is grounded. And it is. So this one's grounded. So here's that seven port from Amazon I put on the screen a few times. My issues with it is there's really bad light. Uh, bleed between the switches and ports and off camera. I also validated that it's not shielded So uh, or rather it's not grounded. Sorry and uh, a more minor OCD detail is that The power butt connector is also too long for the receptacle So I'm looking into some 90 degree adapters there uh, to try to upgrade that but um, for the money I'm pretty tempted to risk popping this thing over because there's no obvious way of how to take it apart and trying to uh, solder up some wiring to to bridge all the uh, the USB port um, shells together, and then if the cable is shielded, to you know solder it to that, and then uh, solder together uh, a male a new male adapter to to basically convert this thing to shielded. So uh, sub, if you want to see popping this thing open and trying to to upgrade this. And also I have some key videos on the way. I have a Tofu 65 coming on over. Um, I'm gonna be making a reverse coiled USB cable with a DIY kit um, and also using some Limo connectors. So I'll show how to solder all that together. And I will be doing a quick review on the first two sets of switches I have on the way, which are some Box Royal switches that are very tactile and also the famous Boba for, uh, U4Ts as well so please throw a like if you learned anything here and give me a sub if you want to see some of the future content coming up with uh keebs and more usb mods